Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing some Greenville plant features and cars. It's been about one or two years since I've actually done a video just like this. And I do want to give out a huge shout out to Shard for this specific idea. It brought me back to the idea of doing this specific video and we're here today to make that video. So yeah, huge shout out to Shard. I'll have his video in the description down below. Anyways, if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and smash the like button. But anyways, let's waste no more time and get right into today's video. Alrighty guys, so we are back in the Greenville Community Discord server. A really good server. It basically has everything you need to know about Greenville updates, Greenville leaks, and future updates like that. Even planned features. It's a pretty cool server, so if you do want to join it, I will have a link in the description down below. Anyways, let's waste no more time and get right into today's video. Alrighty, so we have a planned fictional 2001 Lamborghini Diablo. So yeah, we have another fictional Lamborghini coming to the game. Here we actually have a new feature. This is to make daily attendance, so you get a bonus reward for playing the game every day. This has actually been a feature that's been going around the Greenville community a while now, but still has not been added. But it is a planned feature, so basically if you join the game every day, you will get some bonus rewards. Maybe cash? Maybe a car? A daily reward for playing the game. It'd be really cool if you like hit like a day mark. Let's say you've been playing the game for like 50 days. You get a badge or something. Anyways, we have another fictional car coming to the game. We have a 2023 Ford F-150 FP700 package. Another fictional car plans. Here are also some more fictional cars. So it looks like we are getting a Best Buy remodel. It's actually been planned. So a few days ago, I actually saw a photo that I believe is the Just Buy remodel. I put it on screen, but at first I thought it was a dealership, but a lot of people were in the comments were thinking it was a Best Buy. So maybe we are getting a Best Buy remodel in the next updates. More interactable buildings in Greenville. We have a bowling alley and AMC theater. So if you guys like the Western car brand in Greenville, we have more plans. A refresh of these two western vehicles also we are no longer getting real cars from now on we are going to be receiving just fictional cars and it's actually a smart move more codes are planned hopefully this time it's money codes a lot of people are upset that it's not money codes people want money codes more than a boost in the drive to earn or interactable jobs so hopefully it's more money codes so on the greenville tiktok page more player space this is planned, our devs are actively working on this. We're at a 25 player count right now. I mean, I think going up to like either 30 or 35 is going to be the limit. Because more player space, more server crashes. So we'll see how that goes. Take down lights for WSP, OCSO, FVMPD vehicles. Landscaping with tractors. And we also have small boats for the lake. That'd be cool. Actual farming complexes instead of just hay barns and small silos. And it's been planned. I wonder what they'll actually come up with. That'd be cool to actually see real barns. A remodel of the Appleton Airport has been planned. I doubt we'll ever get an interior because airports are huge. But a remodel for the airport is 100% needed. Very outdated. Private server menu and server codes is planned as well. This has actually been planned for quite a while now. I made a video about this probably nearly a year ago, and we still don't have the specific UI just yet. But hopefully in the future, we need an updated private server menu. And I think a lot of people will be happy once private servers go free. All right, so on an Instagram story, a person asked about mobile home or a trailer park, and they said definitely in the future. Nice, more housing. Oh wow, a gated neighborhood. In the future, nice. Looks like we're getting a rapid wash remodel. But to be honest, the rapid wash does not look bad at all. I like it. The ability to test drive cars in the dealership. That would actually be really good once we get fictional cars. Wow, there's just a bunch of cars. Oh, here we go. More types of houses has been actually planned as well. And we actually do need more type of styles for houses. Looks like the police light bars are going to be refreshed. Finally, this is actually a needed thing. The prices for changing a plate, $10,000, is ridiculous. So it looks like to reduce the price is planned. We need this. Like, maybe $3,000, $5,000 is more of a reasonable price. So DOT will be receiving a gas container in their inventory to fill up on cars that run out of gas. That would actually be a really helpful tool for DOT. Since most of their calls, especially in roleplay servers, 
are about people running out of gas. So that's a really neat tool. Add trailers and the ability to tow them and or put things on them. It's actually been planned. This has actually been planned for, I believe, over three years now. And we still don't have it yet. So we'll see if that ever gets added. So the ability to buy ingredients from Quick Dollar or Bulk Foods is actually planned as well. And the ability to cook. Maybe a neighborhood of just mansion-like houses. Future lighting has been planned as well. Add the ability to farm while on the farmer's job. That would actually make the farmer job way more interactive. Add a dash cam view into the game. That is a needed thing, but I have no idea how that would work. But it is a cool feature. The ability to sell cars for 100% in the first 5 minutes of ownership. This is a really needed feature. Because sometimes when you're buying cars, you drive them around for a, like a few minutes to actually test them. And then you end up just selling it and not getting the full price back. And a lot of people, including myself, hate not having the ability to sell cars for 100% in the first 5 to 10 minutes. Of course, if you have the vehicle for over an hour or a day, you're not going to get 100% of the profit back. But it would be good if you get 100% of the profit back in the first 5 to 10, maybe even 15 minutes of owning the car. Have functional windshield wipers. I mean, I think they said we were going to get them in future updates, but yes, it is planned. It's coming soon, we just don't know when exactly it's actually coming. Because I believe we've actually had rain for over a year now. We're basically all waiting for the windshield wipers. I kinda wonder how it would actually look. The next one we have here is actually very interesting. How about a campsite? Because in a previous version of Greenville, we did have a campsite. And to add it back would be really good and bring more role-playing options to the game. Because Greenville, yes, you know, is a role-play game. So adding a campsite would bring more role-playing ideas. And overall, just a new fun area. Anyway, that is basically going to conclude today's video. I tried my best with this specific video, but it is kind of challenging since most of these planned features are older cars. They're never going to be added to game anymore. Because now the Greenville development team is actually going to focus on more fictional cars rather than real life cars. So I had to skip over 10, 20 vehicles. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. Out of these planned features, which one do you want most? I reviewed quite a bit. So if you do want to see a part 2, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you do want to see the specific planned features on your own, I will have a link in the description down below to the Greenville Discord server a really useful discord server anyways if you haven't already make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and smash that like button but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video